What's up everybody, this is Happy to Game, and today in this video we're going to be talking about a couple of budget builds. Uh, if you've been following my scav series, you've seen now how to make some money. Now how do you take that money that you're making and putting it into loadouts, uh, budget loadouts, so you can go and make more money with your PMCs. Alright, so the first loadout is very simple. Um, as you can see here on my screen, it's literally, this is what they call a hatchling. Uh, it's essentially someone who just comes in completely naked and actually most of the time you don't even have any anything inside your, inside your pouch. And the goal is just to run into the raid and grab whatever you can. Typically you're grabbing, trying to grab high value loot. You're going in, uh, grabbing a Bitcoin or grabbing uh, high value keys that spawn in the game just in general high value loot and you're just throwing into your pouch and you're running out or you're dying doesn't matter right um now obviously this is like the rattiest thing that you can do uh it's the um it's the lowest of the lowest thing that you want to be doing it's typically not too fun to be honest with you i've I tried this method in, in the past I didn't find it fun personally maybe you guys do if you do all, all to you uh, for having fun uh, but yeah so this is obviously the first loadout you spend absolutely nothing you run in there and you try and grab as much as you can and you get out all right so the next one that's uh, the next loadout that I'm going to show you that's going to be better than the hatchling run is going to be something very very simple so let's quickly go into trading here go to prep poor and let's quickly grab so let's go to level one trading we're gonna to want to grab a TT pistol we're gonna grab a meg an extra meg here and then we're gonna grab um, some ammo uh, so I think I'm pretty sure it's an eight it's an eight megger so if we go um, let's go like eight So where'd that go? Because this is my TT pistol. Here's my ammo. So let's load up. Oh, okay, hold on. We have to actually take this out. Load this up. Put it in there. So here's your pistol. Where's my mag? There's my mag. I guess I have to buy more ammo. Uh, prep pour. Let's buy eight more here. Put this in your pocket. And that's it. Right, so this is your pistol run. This is your pistol loadout. Um, I believe this this is less than ten thousand. Okay, so this is less than ten thousand rubles uh, for this run here. Now let's set the expectations right. If you're going into a raid with just a pistol, you should not. And again, you probably don't want to bring anything really. You probably just want to bring in this here. And your goal is you, PvPing, like you, you want to avoid PvPing, right? You're not going to kill any PMCs unless they're hatchlings, but don't count on it, right? If you see a PMC, you need to like hide, right? The goal here is to go and kill a scav or two, loot their bodies, grab whatever you can and get out, okay? That is the goal of this build. Um, you should not be trying to do anything else with this other than going in, pop a couple scavs, grab their loot, get out. Okay, so that's this loadout here, less than 10,000 rubles. All right, now the next loadout I'm going to show you, this is the second loadout. And uh, so first off, I'm going to go to prep pour again, and we're going to buy the SKS. Okay, and then we're going to buy some ammo for it. The, just trader one here a uh, ps ammo you're going to want probably about 20 20 rounds so first off you need to load this up with ammo so here's your ps ammo load it up did i not load up no okay so you have to load it up ps ammo put it in there And then what you're probably going to want, um, so again, so that right there, so that was 20, less than 25k, that right there. Okay, so that was less than 25k for this loadout right here. And again, um, I need to stress this, 
when it comes to PvPing, you're going to be a lot better equipped than just the pistol. But you shouldn't be going around hunting players. You should be going around hunting scavs. And again, just grabbing the loot from the scav and trying to extract out. Now, let's up this a little bit. So that was 25k. Let's see. Let's see what we can do if we go in and... Like I, like, I don't even think it's worth it. Like, I don't think it's worth purchasing you can't even purchase a scav frag or a scav um scav vest here you might want to just purchase uh one which is 35 so you purchase one ai here and then one painkiller which is about seven thousand it looks like so that's four thousand that is seven so let's say let's say that's eight eight thousand right there so that's eight thousand dollars now you put that into here right hockey them however you like um and that's it you go in with that build like i honestly don't even think that that's worth it you probably just want to put it into here and then when you get hurt you just use it you just right click use it all right so what happens if you do want to build a um a loadout that's going to be decent at uh, killing geared PV PMCs and killing scavs. So let's quickly try and build that. So for me, let's try and build something. So that's, so, I'm, so you wanna get an SKS. Um, let's go for a, you want the PS ammo. Hold on, just go back to tier one here. PS ammo, we want about 20. Give me those. And then we're probably going to want, let's go to Ragman. You're going to want the penis helmet. In terms of armor, you could go and purchase a Paka, but I mean, it is only armor class two, which is essentially only good against um, scavs, really. Um, so I almost feel like you can skip that, to be honest with you. You can almost actually skip the helmet too. But for now, let's just say we're going to buy the helmet. Let's purchase uh, some painkillers and some and a car, one car mag and one AI two, and I think that's pretty much it right there. So let's see here. Let me put the ammo inside here. PS ammo that to the sks to there get the, the helmet which i think personally you probably don't even need uh you put the ai2 and the painkiller in there um the car i guess the car pack you can't really use it then so you can kind of do something like that and i think that should be it like that should be good enough for your raid there but that's like 50 no you're gonna need something a little bit better than that so you're gonna want something with class four uh with class four armor so something like this would be really nice now let's go to the filter items here but i think that's the thing though you can't get this through traders right um or sorry yeah you can't get you have to get that through flea market at first so let's just say you do purchase the paka Right, so you purchase the Paka, and you do get Emrig. What does the Emrig? The Emrig. Do you want to get the Emrig? I don't even feel like you need to get the Emrig, but let's say you do get the Emrig, and you get like a little sling. And these are things that if you insure, you're, people aren't gonna take these things, right? So, Paka, put the sling in there. Um, helmet with the little thing there um and there you go so let's see how much this costs so that was less than 100k that was nine around 92 thousand rubles for that kit right there and i'll be honest with you this is like totally not necessary like the sling, you can probably remove that. You don't need it because you can just kill a scav, take their backpack. Uh, same with the tactical rig. And again, the only thing that you might want to purchase is maybe the paka and the headwear. Um, and that's about it. You probably don't 
need um, any of this stuff. The painkillers and the AI2s, you, you kind of do want to have that. Um, same with the car med. For healing purposes, in case you do get hurt from the scavs um, and other PMCs. But yeah, so there we go. So there you have it. There is a quick, super low budget loadout. Uh, less than 100k uh, was the most expensive one, uh, which came to about 92 thousand rubles so hopefully that video helps you out if it does please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel and also check out my uh scab money run uh videos um, i'll put that link somewhere as well and uh, i'll see you all again next time bye now